the students who traveled with us this year were typical of students in most of the, the programs here at Washtenaw. Uh, they are second year students in their last semester of clinical training. Well, the area that we were working in was the southernmost part of Peru, and the largest big town that actually we were staying in a night was called Ilo. It is incredibly dry, and the soil is full of salt. So whenever the ancient peoples would bury something in the soil, whether it was their, their garbage, their waste, their excavations, or their deceased, they would naturally mummify. And we find them yet today. The most interesting thing that we were involved in didn't take place in Elo or the Asmori River Valley, but took place in Lima. Lima has a number of wonderful museums, and one of the largest and most beautiful is the Larco Museum. In the Larco Museum is a huge mummy from the Ware culture. It's probably 3,000 years old. It's absolutely beautiful. This mummy has funerary wrappings and a shirt on the front of it. It's beautifully embroidered. It has long braided hair with beads in it, a woven cap, and a gold mask. They were very afraid to take this mummy to a hospital to have it x-rayed because they were afraid that it either would get damaged or some part of it would be stolen. So they invited our group to the Larco Museum to take x-rays of it. We brought with us our portable x-ray unit, a number of cassettes, a box of film, and then a light tight box. And when, after we had taken x, uh, all the films that we had needed on the cassettes that we had filled, we had to exchange the film in them but there's no dark room available. We went to the bathroom in the museum, plugged up all the light leaks under the door, made sure that the light was off, and then took the film out of the cassettes, put the exposed film in a light tight box, and then reloaded the cassettes so we could continue taking x-rays. After this whole process of taking the x-rays, we hopped in a taxi, drove through the rush time traffic of downtown Lima to the closest hospital, and then got permission to run our films through their film processing area at the local hospital, the films turned out perfect. And from them, we learned in this huge mummy that sits on the ground this tall, has a base possibly three feet around and weighed probably 70 or 80 pounds, was the remains of a four-year-old child about that big. Why this small child was in the center of this huge mummy bundle. We have no idea. We'll leave that up to the researchers, but it was really an interesting part of our trip.